Hi, welcome to this update. Today I am going to show you how to hack well, hack um, PSP version 5.51. Well, first in your PSP and well in your Pandora battery and a magic. Let me see, it could be like a two gig or it could be eight gig. Uh, right now I'm just using 2 gig because I don't really know use it so as you can see I am using five, version 5.51 if you could see that mm, okay and right you can see it has PlayStation Network and this information board shit I don't know what that's useful for but it's there so it's the latest one and you can see I have some Games here, well, I guess PSP two will, will not open. First of all, when you um you gotta have a Pandora battery in it and well in auto boot mode and your memory stick is in right. So first you can see I have a five point one, five point five. Yeah, right then first take off the back well take off the back way. Right, so exposing battery, still on. Take it off. Right, I'll be uploading the files. Fit. Right, as I can see, just I had a 5.51 on the PSP. So, just as you put in place in the battery, keep your hand on the up knob, and the power light will come on. See, as it is on there, and you will. Uh, when you have the files, correct files, everything. Your PSP will automatically boot to this screen. It will say install 4.01 MM3 or you can install the official 4.1 original firmware. So, I have these are like hardware tests. You test how the MM3 if it works. And, but if you only have two operating systems, you could do this. Why? Plus, get the other one by just taking out the battery, putting your rack in, and you go down to the, to the last option. It says test M. 3.3 three. click that click it or re reboot it's right reboot it now and and check this out you will you um you are going to play the ISO games and you see I don't have the PlayStation Network icon and let's go and check the firmware setting the firmware Uh, you can see it's 4.1 version is 4.1 so it, that and um if you want to change it back you just just take out the battery like like it's on this 4.1 take out the battery just place it back in don't press anything and it will come back to the 5.1 yeah, 5.5. .5. See, it has the PlayStation Network sign again. So that's really awesome. Like, you want official videos, you want to fit, you want to browse PlayStation Network and get through with everything because I had it on um, 5.0 firmware and um, when I was trying to get through with PlayStation Network, it wasn't working. So I still must convert my battery to the Pandora and um, I have to figure out how to put the two formulas on it. So, if you have any questions, you can just comment me. I'll check back. And yeah, that's it. Um, the new formula, latest everything. Because what? You could go on network update and we'll connect Wi Fi on. I then say you have the latest software. You need that you have the latest software. No need to update, and it's already installed. So, oh yeah, and if you want, you can install install the four point zero one, and well, obviously you wouldn't have back this five point five. So, when you install it, well, I have a file that well, it has two updates in it, right? You have the official five point five, and 
it has the um in one in one folder and it has the update for the 5.0 but um i leave it at 5.5 because in case i mod modified my psp like back to 4.01 and one back to 5.5 just install it back put it back to panora battery and you get um by the way this is the first of our psp to come out this is uh, one the psp 1000 or the psp fat so it's very easily easily modified and yeah as you said um please read comment subscribe if you have any questions if i skip anything into it um this um i will upload the files check the link in the description so yeah um basically that's it five point five point five and 4.01 on same PSP. Yeah, and I'll post up the links for the pre made memory stick, the fast put on the memory stick, and um, I'll do a video on that how to put it on the memory stick. So, yeah, um, later.